Oh man, it's time to talk about Super Mario Galaxy again! I've made it no secret in the past that this is my favorite game of all time, and I'm very happy to be back with another video about it. One of my favorite things about this game is the stars, or missions, found throughout the game. Almost all of them are extremely fun and are some of the best experiences out of any Mario game. So that's why today, I'll be ranking the top 10 Super Mario Galaxy stars. This list is based on how creative each star is, how memorable they are, and anything else that helps them to stand out. And before I begin, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my amazing videos. Anyways, let's get to the countdown! Number 10. Choosing a Favorite Snack Located in San Spiral Galaxy, this star is really unique in that there's two different ways you can complete it. Upon beginning, you're presented with two different power-ups, and it's up to you which one you use. You have to use one or the other in order to get through a short labyrinth, and each comes with their pros and cons. On one hand, you have the Bee Mushroom. It's great for getting vertical distance, but you have to use it sparingly since it can run out of flight power pretty fast. On the other hand, you've got the Boo Mushroom. With this, you don't have to worry about running out of stamina, but you have to be careful not to touch the light or else it's game over. I really love that you get to choose how you tackle this level, because it adds so much personality to the game. Most games don't give you this much personalization when it comes to levels, and I think that says a lot about this star. Plus, at the end of the level, there's this part where you get to run around a spinning road with a superstar and it's so awesome! This is a star that not many people talk about, and that's a real shame because this star is criminally underrated. Number 9. The Galaxy's Greatest Wave well, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, have you seen the Atlantic Ocean? This is nothing compared to that! Anyways, this star features Mario riding on top of a large mana ray, and the goal is to race to the finish as fast as possible. The course itself is a lot of fun to navigate, and contains a lot of really fun elements, like sharp turns, loops, and a huge jump at the end. It's not the easiest thing to get through, but once you learn the layout, it really isn't too hard. But of course, Nintendo just HAD to shoehorn in some stupid gimmick to make this star feel more original. You see, you control the mana ray by using tilt controls, and since you're traveling across giant waves, it makes it very hard to control where you're going. It definitely takes some time to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually a lot of fun. I don't know what it is, but something about the delayed controls and the bumpy ride make for such a stellar time. It's just one of those things where you know it isn't perfect, yet somehow, you want to keep playing it over and over again. It's that good. I know a lot of people might not see this star as worthy of being called one of the best, but it's always one that I enjoy coming back to. Number 8. Trouble on the Tower this star is located in Honey Hive Galaxy, otherwise known as the Home of the Bees. The mission entails climbing throughout the level while jumping across platforms and defeating enemies along the way. It's all pretty basic when you get down to it, but it makes for a really good time. At the end, you have to defeat all of the Manda bugs on top of the tower. That's fine and all, but for some reason, this is treated as a boss fight despite it literally being two normal enemies stacked on top of each other. Weird, right? There's a lot of other really cool parts too, like when you get to swing on the vines, and when you get to destroy all these piranha plants using a superstar, and who could forget the wonderful mighty Gilboard? Now there's a contender for the next Smash Bros game. I could go on, but there's only so much I can say about the star without being too repetitive. Just know that this is one fabulous star that every Mario fan needs to try. Number 7. Pole Star Path the pull stars in Mario Galaxy were new additions that I've always really liked, and this star is a big reason for that. The way they work is you grab onto them using the pointer, and the pull star will drag Mario closer to wherever you aim. It's a simple idea, but they're really fun to use and are found all throughout this level. The rest of the star is pretty great too. You'll collect pieces of a launch star, hunt down five silver stars, and even save the Toad Brigade from Bowser's crystals. Every single thing you do in this mission is so much fun and it never gets old. There's so much variety in what you do which makes this star one of the first ones I always think about, and I'd be lying if I didn't say the atmosphere here is some of the best I've ever seen. The soothing music combined with the quiet vastness of being alone in space really make this star stand out, and I wouldn't want it any other way. This is by far one of my most played stars in Mario Galaxy, and I'm sure it'll be the same for you once you try it for the first time. Number 6 the Sinking Lava Spire. 
I've never been the biggest fan of lava levels in video games, but I can always make an exception for this star. It's definitely one of the more difficult stars on this list, but that's okay because everyone needs a good challenge from time to time. You start off on a planet that's covered in lava, and you have to jump from platform to platform in order to get across. Then you'll get shot out of a launch star, and have to use pulse stars in order to get past these flaming moons. After another spectacular cinematic, you'll collect five launch star shards before getting sent to the final part of the level. In this part, you have to traverse a crumbling tower as it sinks into the lava, while also trying to dodge all the crap that's in your way. Things can get pretty hectic towards the end, but it's still a good time all around. The platforming is just the right difficulty, and there's a good variety of things you'll do along the way. It's this combination that can really make a star worthwhile, and that's certainly the case for this one. And also, just remember, Number 5. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser Oh no, not another clone character. First we get Metal Mario, then Pinkle Peach, and now Mecha Bowser. Great. Just what the world needed. But as it turns out, Bowser doesn't appear in this level at all. What we have instead is one of the most creative and well thought out stars in the game. You start out by taking screws out of the level in order to access hidden areas. It's here where you'll discover the spring mushroom for the first time, and uh... I actually kinda like this power up. Okay, okay, I get it, I know it's a hot take, but I really don't understand why everyone hates this power-up so much. I think it's a lot of fun getting to bounce really high in the air, and it feels so satisfying timing out your bounces to hop over enemies. Sure, it doesn't control the greatest, but it's still used in a lot of really creative ways, especially for this star. So even though you might hate this power-up with a burning passion, it gets an outstanding thumbs up from me. Anyways, after that, you'll fly into this giant toy robot where you have to take him apart by pulling up the screws holding him together. This part's especially cool because you have to climb on all parts of his body and dismantle him piece by piece. And before you know it, you'll use Spring Mario to blow the robot to pieces, and the star is yours. Like with the other stars on this list, there's a lot of variety in the objectives you have to complete. I mean, one second, you're a spring, and the next thing you know, you've committed mass murder! This star really does have a lot of creative elements, and will probably be engraved in my head for the rest of my life. Number 4, The Frozen Peak of Baron Burr. Is it c c cold in here or is it just me? Or is it the game? Nah, it's probably just me. This star takes place in Freeze Flame Galaxy and is located on the snowy side of the level. You have to climb all the way to the top of a mountain to nab your star, and the whole way up is quite enjoyable. One of the first things you'll encounter is the Ice Flower Power-Up. It allows you to skate across frozen water and can help you access certain areas that regular Mario can't. You'll have to use it several times in order to climb up the mountain, but every time it's needed, it's used in a very creative way. The rest of this star involves some light platforming, but none of it's all too challenging and will offer you a good time regardless. And at the top of the mountain, you'll face off against this level's boss, Baron Burr. The fight itself isn't very difficult, but even so, it's still a memorable boss that really complements an already perfect level. Number 3, Rocky Road. Oh, forget the top 10, just give me those sweets! Located in Sweet Sweet Galaxy, this star is incredibly simple. All you have to do is get to the end of the road, easy squeezy lemon easy. There's just one tiny problem though, the road is covered in holes. Big holes, small holes, holes shaped like all sorts of things are lined up and ready to give you a good challenge. Of course, it doesn't help that the road itself is moving, so it always feels like you aren't making any progress, but that's the beauty of it. This mission seems really easy at first, but then you actually start playing it and it's just like, Oh, and the ending is even worse. Now parts of the road are missing, and only a few circles are left. Not to mention there's electricity you have to watch out for, and it can be quite the task to put up with. But before you know it, the mission's over, and the star is yours for the taking. And that's the thing I love about it so much. This star can be really difficult at times, but that difficulty never outstays its welcome. Right when the level is starting to feel impossible, it's over. And it's a good blend of traits that I wish more stars had. I know some people might not enjoy the star as much because of its length, but that's never stopped me from playing it dozens of times in my life. Number 2 Mega Legs Moon. There's only one main goal for this star, and that is to defeat the boss. 
This fight is one of the most epic boss battles out of all of Mario's games, and is generally considered to be one of the most creative as well. It's not the hardest fight in the world since it is one of the first bosses in the game, but it's still one of the best seeing how different it is from every other battle. And yes, I am aware that the footage I've been showing doesn't exactly look like a boss battle, but that's because this boss IS the level! Talk about an original idea! You start on the bottom of the planet and have to dodge Megalig's unusually large feet. Then you'll climb up his legs, dodge bullet bills and traversing some small obstacles. Then at the top, you have to lure bullet bills into blowing up the cage that contains the Grand Star. You have to do this part twice, with the second time having more gates in the way. Then when you finally destroy the last barrier, kaboom! Mega Legs destroyed and Mario gets another Grand Star. All that I just described is loads of fun and still remains one of the most creative stars in Mario history. The only downside to the star is that it's over rather quickly, but that also makes it easier to come back to since it doesn't take as long. If you don't think the star's any good, well shame on you because this is one of the greatest boss battles of all time. Number 1. The Dirty Tricks of Major Burrows The tricks may be dirty, and the burrows may be major. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But this star is truly the only one in Super Mario Galaxy worthy of being called the best star in the game. To start, let's take a moment to appreciate the beautiful Gusty Garden Galaxy music. This is one of the greatest musical arrangements ever conceived, and I couldn't imagine a better level for it to be in. Some of the things you'll be doing in this mission involve riding a fluff through the sky, ground pounding money moles on uniquely shaped planets, and disturbing a caterpillar that's eating all of the nearby apples. Every step of the way has you doing something completely different, so there's never a dull moment with this star. And at the end, you get to face off against this level's boss, Major Burrows. It's not the greatest boss fight in the world, but it's definitely one of the more memorable ones from this game. So in short, this star is one of the most fun ones I've ever played, and it's definitely the best one from Super Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy will probably forever be my favorite game of all time, and these stars, along with so many others, will always hold a special place in my heart. But with that, thank you all so much for watching, like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all again real soon. Goodbye.